Wednesday the 1st, 7.30 at night, uh, out here cutting grass. Been raining so much, the grass ain't been cut. I'm using my John Deere push mower that in 1991 I probably overpaid for, but I'm still using it. It fires up on first or second pull. Um, I got, or <laughs> got unloaded down to Orlando, and um, they were pulling the last... The last stoats off the trailer and the hook had flipped over and was laying on the glass and when he picked it up it it broke the last light of glass and it just all over the trailer it would have been out of there a lot sooner got up to decatur kind of been a fiasco and uh i couldn't get my bill of lighting so uh they said the only trailer loaded there was the one to go to columbus so, uh, I got the trailer, uh, did my pre-trip on it. I had some problems with the loading that I fixed real quick. I rolled out and go to Columbus. I get to Columbus, I park for the night, uh, and I get a call from one of the other drivers. He said, what trailer you got? And I told him, he said, that goes to Indianapolis. I said, well, I was told to pick it up and take it to Columbus. And they said, they didn't load the Columbus, they loaded Indianapolis. So I had to blast out of Columbus and get to Indianapolis where I dropped uh, that load there in Indy. And I, if I never go back to Indy, I'll be happy. It's, it's not the people there. You have to do a blind back into the driveway, blind back down the building, and then blind back up a ramp. And uh, it sucks. And then they, got to, oh, they always got their trucks parked in the way, and it's just, uh, yeah was there several times with Maverick. The one picture, I have to go back pretty far, I might have that picture where I sat there overnight and it snowed like four inches of snow on the truck. I'll see if I can find that picture and put it up. But um, they had got, uh, let's see, they, they had got about four stoses or six six stoses off the trailer and on the back there was two stoses left they picked up the outside stoats and they were carried away from the trailer they got about 10 feet away from the trailer and the inside stoats that was sitting there doing nothing but sitting there it just collapsed it just exploded and collapsed i've never seen a stoats do that without being touched or something affecting it um apparently there maybe there was enough broken lights in there that it just couldn't support itself i don't know uh, i got some pictures of it you'll see what uh, about 40, oh, I don't know, around 38, 4,300 pounds of glass looks like when it breaks all over the trailer. Luckily, nobody was in the way. Nobody was there. Everybody was clear of it. And it didn't fall over, which is a lot more dangerous. It just flat fell, just collapsed into a big pile. Um, so we got the rest of the glass off, and then the guys there, they all gathered around. There was five of us. We got it all cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, it's two trips, and two piles of broken glass uh the last orlando was only one light this was i think 12 uh 12 lights of 5.7 millimeter glass so um anyhow i got that unloaded in indianapolis blasted over to cater and then headed home to monroe and i got the truck down at Ryder getting a few things fixed on it that was supposed to have been fixed um uh, so i got the truck in monroe at the monroe ohio at the Ryder dealer um, there's a couple in Dayton, a couple in Cincinnati, and in between. They're scattered about. Um, but it's got a lot of problems that they should have fixed. This thing had a uh, DOT annual certification done on it, and it's got massive air leaks. The city horn don't work, which is the beep beep. The air horn works. And, and air leaks that you can hear and is a shutdown violation. They'll park you. An inaudible city horn, they will park you, which makes no sense. You got another horn, but everything has to work. Um, it's got two bad tires on it. Uh, I got a brake problem, which also should have found in the certification. And the auto inflators on all the axles, I have a picture of that too. I'll try to post that up there too. Uh, it, they put air into the axle, into the axle hub, and then they have a deal that comes out and uh, auto inflates the. Um, the tires keeps the tires inflated and but the lines run in through the rims to the valve stems and they're cut almost all the way through every one of them so they're gonna replace all of them super nice people up here uh, 
the one I called down in Sharonville, they wouldn't give me time of day. So I'm glad I'm dealing with somebody else. Um, I decided they didn't even try to get me in. These people are like, we'll squeeze you in and we'll see what we can do with the truck since it sit down there for three months at the Ryder dealer. It was either in Knoxville or it was in North Carolina, but anyhow, it's there for three months and they didn't, didn't do anything right to it. Um, that's about really all I got going. It was kind of a screwy week, a lot of load shifting again. Um, they didn't have the glass for the Columbus load is why they didn't load it. Uh, whatever size, whatever thickness they had, they weren't running it or they had ran out. Um, so I ended up with the Indianapolis load that I wasn't supposed to take. They told me to grab the only glass loaded trailer there that was there because shipping and receiving. I'd called them. They said, yeah, we'll be here when you get there. They weren't there. Uh, so I got the only trailer that was loaded and come to find out wrong trailer luckily you know it's 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 a club of Indianapolis what three hours luckily I didn't take it like down to Knoxville or down to Orlando that would have really you know of course I wouldn't have done that I didn't have time and I had to get home and I had ELD malfunctions all the way home I would drive for 30 minutes and still have me on duty didn't even show I was driving so I go in there and I go into driving and it says I have uh, when I'm on duty, it says I got four hours and 57 minutes left. And when I go on to driving, it says I have an hour and 57 minutes left. So I said, well, I'll just run it out and then I'll PC, personal conveyance, the rest of the way home since I'm going home. I'm not under a load. Not, I'm not advancing a load. So I put it on PC and ran it a while. And then it comes up and says I have a PC violation. I've gone, overgone my maximum amount of PC time. So I look down. I still got four hours and change of on-duty driving. So I don't know, really know what the the ELD was doing um, I'm gonna try to talk to the FM this week and see if there's a way to hook it up or the way to go out and get updates on it and see if it can figure out what's wrong with it um, hopefully I'll get the truck back uh, next week get the rest of my stuff put in it uh, get my microwave in there uh, get my CB radio put in there uh, everything I need to just stay in the truck because I like it it's actually a better I was surprised that the International is actually a better truck than the Cascadia. It rides better, it steers better, the dash is laid out more like an automobile. Uh, the Cascadia is now a big, now like a, almost like looking at an iPad or something. It's all a computer, it's all computer controlled crap all over it now. Um, one example is if I turn the interior lights on in the, in the um, International, I flip a switch, the light goes on. The Cascadia, if I want the lights on, I flip a switch. It tells the computer to turn the lights on. And and if you need an update to the computer, the lights don't want to work right. Or they flash on and off on the interior. And in one of my videos, you'll see where I took the light right out of the ceiling. Um, that's all I got for now. i uh, got some home time um, for some medical issues, not mine. And then we're going to get back out on the road. Um, and uh, hopefully... Uh, make some money. The sitting home craps for the birds if you want to make a little money and get some stuff done because I have not got near any of my projects done I want to get I want to get completed. It, it's, it's not money's not there right now. I'm not broke, I'm not starving, but I don't want to spend my, all my savings to uh, do projects um, you know and then there's no savings. So you understand that I, I know you get it. 